So back in VS Code, I'm going to copy this function again, and I'm just going to go down and call it update user. Since we can't have the same name twice, so I'm going to do maybe patch user or something. So patch user so that we can send the patch request. So here we're going to change this to patch because we're trying to patch the user and then we pass again the user ID and the user. How do I know what I have to pass here again? Because I looked at the documentation. So if we go back to the documentation, uh, you can see for patching a resource, we have to pass in the ID of that resource. And then you can look at the value of the request. We're just passing in the property that we want to change. In that case, they're changing the title, which was very different if you look at the put. So with the put request, we pass in the entire data. Okay, so whatever we don't pass, they will be set to the default value on the serve. So for the patch, we don't have to pass in all of the properties on that specific data in the request value. So let's go back to the code and let's just make sure this looks good. Okay, so we pass in the ID of the user we want to change and then we pass in the payload. And in that case, we don't have to pass in the entire user. So we're going to use this function. So let's go back into the app component and I'm going to comment the update for now and I'm just going to copy the update paste it down and I'm going to call it on patch user and then call the patch user and we pass in the user as well and I'm going to change this to patching user that's what we're doing and I'm going to go ahead and scroll up and I want to change this data a little bit so we know that we don't have to pass everything so let's say we're going to change the second user so I'm passing a two here and I'm going to change the name and I'm going to just remove everything else. So here I can just take all of this off. OK, so then our user is complaining. So let's change the value for this. Let's put any for now so that we don't have to go back and change all of those properties. And then we can pass that user and the request. So we know that for the second user, their name, their email and their username is going to be different and everything else is going to be the same. So if we go down below here, so we need a call to get all of the users so that we can compare. And then I'm going to call the update or patch user. So I'm going to do this, that patch user and call that function. I'm going to go ahead and save everything and then go back to the browser and let's refresh. All right. So you can see the second user when we make the call the second time, I'm going to change this to log so that we can explore this better. So I'm going to copy this, change it here. Oops. And then go back. All right, so you can see the first is the patching. So that's the second one that we're patching. And then let's compare this to the second user. So the second user is right here. We know that the data is not persisted for real. So that's why the user is still uh, the same. So the name didn't change, but you can see that and the user that we got back, we got back everything else with that user the way that we had it before. So only the name, the username and the email were changed and everything else is the same. And we can compare, you can see here, like if we expand the company, you can see the company is still the same. Okay. So we didn't change anything on the company. You only change specific properties on a specific resource. You don't change everything, but with the put, you have to send the whole object with the patch. You don't have to send the whole object. Usually you just have to send the ID and then the parts you want to change. In that case, we change the username, the name and the email, but everything else is still the same. You can see we can compare those. We can look at the address. Address is still the same. As you can see here, it's the same address. So everything else remains. So this is how you would do a patch. And later in the course, I'm going to set up my own backend so that I can show you guys some more advanced stuff. But this API will do for now.